Today on Nation, a window cleaners podcast, we're talking all about how you can be number one in your area. So if you're in window cleaning, thinking about getting into window cleaning, or heck, just want to spend some time, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What's up? Today, we are talking about how to be number one, and we're gonna jump right into it. And if you have been in business, understand that when I say you don't have to focus on being number one, you don't have to be bigger than you are, you don't have to do any of that stuff. But you may want to. A lot of us in business have this kind of goal to be bigger or stronger or just have an amazing company and some people are just really just cool with doing their thing and either way is right i'm just some dummy who sits in front of a computer screen so if this applies to you hopefully you'll get something out of it if it doesn't then cool uh hopefully hang out and um you know listen i guess um but anyway i i was always like that i always wanted to be the strongest company I could be. I always wanted to be the biggest. I guess I just always wanted to be incredibly proud and something that when people looked at my business from the outside also, especially other companies, that they kind of had that respect for me. So for me, I would say I wanted to be number one. And I know a lot of you probably do. Uh, I know also that a lot of us think that we're number one in our heads. I mean, that's why we're in business. We know we're the best, you know, option for them. And if you don't, you literally have to think about why that is. If you don't think you're number one or you don't think that you're the best choice, how are you ever going to sell yourself as being that? So that's something to take a close, hard look at if you're not. But for me, I, I always did. I knew that we were the best because I knew that what I was putting out there, I knew that the effort that I was putting in, I knew that the experience we created was just better than everything else out there. I knew that the guarantees and the quality of the service, I just knew every piece of it was the best option for people. I knew that. And if you do know that, it's really, really easy to sell that type of thing. You're selling your service, you're selling your company, right? I now, as you know, I've switched over kind of gears and I am uh, the accounts manager basically here at windowcleaner.com, window cleaning resource. It's the same thing. I know for a fact that we are the best window cleaning supply house in the entire world. So for me to sell myself to that, it's super easy, right? We always talk about WaterFed, which just isn't what it is, but I know WaterFed is the absolute best tool there is for window cleaners. So for me selling people that or explaining the reason why, it's easy, right? In your company, you have to know the same thing and you have to be convinced. Because if you're convinced, it's easier to convince other people of that. I mean, that's really, really the truth when all this kind of comes out. But a lot of us look to be number one and we're kind of just maybe lost, right? We're, we're, We're not really understanding, if you will, the direction we need to go, what we need to be focused on. I mean, we know we want to do this thing. We want to be bigger. We want to be better. We want to be the source for our companies in our area. We want to be it, but we just don't know how to get there. And there's a lot of pieces to that kind of puzzle. And I'm telling you right now, if you got big companies in your area and you're like, I'll never be number one, we're not talking size. We're not. We're talking about the best option. A lot of times, and I've known a lot of companies, I know some amazing companies, by the way. I know some companies that are the absolute biggest in their area, in the region, and they're the best choice also. But I know that the companies that I've come up across, the really, really big ones that just are big to be big are not the best choice for a lot of people. I mean, I know that. So you being the best choice is not mean you're the biggest. So don't look at the competition and be like, yeah, I'm never going to get to that. I'm never going to have 30 trucks in the road. I'll never be the biggest. I'll I'll never be the best. Mm, That's not what it means. The best means that you're the best choice for the person. And here's the cool thing about business, by the way. If you're not the best option, why? Okay, well, this company is the best option. Why are they the best option? Because they have X. Well, then you have XYZ. 
If they have XYZ, then you have XYZZ. You have something extra. Always be unique. Always be the best option, right? But let's just get into the ways that you can be the best. Some really cool things to kind of think about and some things that may really just change the trajectory of your business. And the first one is just to not focus on everybody else, but keep an eye on them. Now, I'm going to put out, you guys know I love my analogies. I'm going to put another analogy out here. You have a windshield in a car, and on the windshield, you have a rear view mirror. Now, pretend this screen is your windshield. You got a little mirror this big. What that means, it's just like business. It's just like life. It's just like everything. You have to focus and put 95% of your focus into what's ahead of you, right? See where you're going, plan where you're going, know where you're going, all that stuff. I could be as corny as you want. I'll get there. But you still have to look behind you. You still have to see what's going on behind you, but just a little bit. And that's the same thing with business. I, I know it's really hard for some of us to kind of break past that looking at other, everybody else, right? You jump on Facebook, you jump on TikTok, which by the way is the worst now. Um, for a lot of this stuff. And by the way, I understand the irony of putting content out on every platform, which by the way, I'm everywhere. If you haven't, um, go find me on TikTok, Jersey, WCR Nation. Uh, I have my own YouTube channel now, which by the way is um, exploding, which is awesome. Content three times a week, super awesome. So go there. Uh, that is um, Jersey underscore nation. Search that on YouTube and subscribe, by the way. What are you doing? Uh, but I know that irony of that, right? But everything, I put content out that I feel like most of the time, a lot of it's fun. Like I put shorts out or just crazy things that we've encountered in window cleaning. But a lot of the content I put out there, I try to like put something out there where I hope that I can help somebody. I hope that something that I say can be taken and advance them. You may get something out of what I say. That's probably why you're here, right? Probably why you listen, you follow all that stuff. And if so, I am absolutely genuinely amazed that I can help people. So thank you for that. But there's also a lot of people who just like to post to brag to themselves. And you know those people out there. I won't even bring up names. You know who I'm talking about. But the guys that post these wads of cash or the big checks or oh, look at my rolly. Or my car, or my 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 chain. Like, there are so many people out there who put the persona out that they're just obvious. So I, they don't show. Oh yeah, by the way, I haven't paid my taxes in three years. Oh by the way, yeah, I don't have any work next week. Oh by the way, uh, I am breaking even. Like, there's so many things out there that you don't put. Those guys that have the wads of cash, yeah, look at me, man, I'm so cool, I can't believe I'm making the same amount of money. By the way, you're making that money. We are all in the same industry. We all make around the same dollar amount per hour. We all have that. It's gross versus net, we've talked about that, but those are what people are putting out there. And if you've watched those people, go, oh, man, I can't believe this guy's got another $20,000 check. Oh, gee, oh, man, he also hasn't paid his bills on the one side. He also has a $30,000 credit card balance that he hasn't paid. Why focus on everybody else? You don't know their story? Focus on yourself. So you have to focus on you instead of everybody else. Now, when we talk about being number one in your area, it shrinks it down. Now, when you're focused on other people in your area, you're focused on size, experience, um, your, the, 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 the service that they're offering as far as like what you get with them, that part you can focus on, but don't focus on all the trucks. Don't focus on the fill in the blanks. Oh, this guy's got so many lists. Oh, they got 35 guys, but they're also hiring new people every week because people are leaving. They don't have anybody there that's longer than a year or two. Like they don't have, like there's so many things that you don't see in the front that if you focus on them, you're going to lose sight of the entire picture. You're gonna lose sight of basically you. Watch them, keep an eye on them, but don't focus on them. This is probably one of the biggest 
uh, hurdles, by the way, if you're new in window cleaning, by the way, if this is like you're just finding this podcast, by the way, six years of content, go back and follow it all. Um, welcome, by the way. I love love to be able to help you any way I can. Um, but if you're new, you're going to see everybody out there and go, hey, how'd you get this? How'd you get to this side? Ten years. Ah, oh, man, I just, I, can you tell me everything I need to know about? No, find out your own information. Do your own research. The hustle in everything that you put in is what gets people there. If you just focus on what's happening right this second, yeah, somebody may be in Paris right now on their vacation, but it doesn't mean their company's doing so well they can go to Paris. It's because that's what their priority was here. So don't focus on them. Keep an eye on them. Don't focus on the competition. This is a hard one because you're always trying to beat them. So you're focused on what they're doing as far as like, what you assume they're doing or what they wear in the front, but not actually what they're doing. The biggest thing you can do to be number one in your area, which 90% of window cleaning companies, small businesses in general, just forget. I would say it's higher than 90%. But it's be your customer. Be your customer in the mindset to understand how to talk to them. Okay, analogy time again. If I'm speaking to somebody who is Spanish speaking only, right? They only know another language. If I start going, hey man, how are you? It's great to see you, I can't. We're not, I'm talking to you how I hear. I understand myself, but you don't, right? So if you speak Spanish, I have to speak to you in your language that you understand. Now this is customers. So many of us put together something And we're wearing so many hats that when we do something, we're just impressed. Because obviously, if you do a thing, if you create a flyer, if you make a post or you built your website or you did anything, you're going to be like, this is great. Because you built it. Like, there's, there's the confidence because you built it. You built it to how you like it. You also are proud of the thing you built. So many people will send flyers and, and, um... Um, you know, door hangers and postcards and things to me and go, hey, what do you think? And you can clearly tell um, that it was kind of homemade, right? And uh, by the way, people send me stuff almost daily. So if you've sent me stuff, please do not think I'm talking just about you. Um, Literally, I get stuff all the time. A lot of stuff, really pretty good. But look at that piece that you put together and then look at a piece online, just find something not window cleaning related, just anything that's in a professional setting and look at the two side by side. And you'll see that there's so many pieces to the professional side of the flow that's different. So we're trying to talk to our customers like we would be hearing, but we're not talking to them. Nobody cares that you have a ROI system with a compatible uh, axion membrane with that's great and they're excited that you have these things and you have the whatever but they don't care the specifics this is a story uh, I love to tell because it was just the disconnect I had um, a guy one time we had a um, like a event where the mayor of our town was going to this event and um, this guy brought his truck, his work truck there and set everything up with cones to let people come look at all his equipment and went and got the mayor and was like, hey, you got to look at this. No one cares. No one cared. Neat. The thing you said you do, is that what you do? Cool. Like, I don't care how you get there. That'd be like going to a mechanic and seeing all of their tools laid out there. Like, hey, you want a tour of a frame machine? You're like, no. I don't. Somebody might care, but most people don't. You have to be your customer because how you're talking to them is how they see, right? Bullet points. Super simple. Make it intriguing. Get them to want the experience, right? Find out why they're shopping. Is it because they hate windows and they just can't do it anymore? Is it because they don't do good work and they're like, every time I clean the windows, there's streaks? Is it because they're like, I hate ladders. I'm not getting up there. Is it because... I want to go golfing on Saturday. I don't want to spend the whole day with... What is their thing? And that's how you talk to them. That's literally it. I could sell somebody signing up window cleaning if I go, hey, you want to go golfing this weekend? 
play 36 holes, hire XYZ window washing, we'll do the window cleaning, you play the golf. I didn't tell you what equipment I had, I didn't tell you what blah blah blah, I didn't tell you any of that stuff. I spoke to you and if you love golf, and if you're like, oh man, I'm dreading doing this, like it's on my honey to-do list or whatever, like then I'm speaking to you, I just sold you and I didn't say anything about it. Know your customer, it's the number one most important thing you can do is know your customer and that's who you're talking to. And here's a little bit of information on that, just a little side note. You will never talk to everybody at once and you never ever want to. If you ever see somebody's thing and they, here's a flyer and it goes, hey, X, Y, and Z, you know, services, uh, window cleaning, pressure washing, gutter cleaning, concrete cleaning, flat surface cleaning, patio enclosures, um, roof cleaning, and uh, there's a huge, what do you, no one person it wants all of that stuff. Maybe one, but I mean, you're talking about who you're talking to. One thing, intrigue them, upsell later. Find that one thing. If I say window cleaning, and somebody's like, well, yeah, but there's people looking for pressure washing. Exactly, that's why I'm gonna do ads for pressure washing. Focus like a laser, not a, a, a floodlight. If you put everything out there, it does not get no one is reading all those things and then the last thing on the list are like, that's what I want. No one. They won't, you lost them. You think people care about what you're writing more than you actually, uh, or more than they actually do, right? Now, by the way, I'm gonna take just a second here and explain who I am. My name is Jersey from windowcleaner.com, if you didn't know. Uh, I am a rep, so my shameless plug of the day is I wanna be your rep. By the way, halfway through here, if you have anything, you get any type of information, or heck, you just wanna do me the biggest solid, let me put your orders in. I want to be your rep. That's literally what I do. It's how I make my cheddar and how I live on this earth. So if you do, my number is 862-312-2026. That is my cell phone. So call me, text me, save everything to your cart. It would mean the absolute world if I could be your rep. I want everybody, every order, big and small, just all of them. And it literally, you text me instead of hitting go and and it costs you nothing extra. So please let me do that. Uh, genuinely appreciate that. And if you haven't yet, go check out awcmag.com. That's the American Window Cleaner Magazine. And yes, you're a nerd like I am. You're listening to a podcast about window cleaning, are you not? So also get the magazine. It's a paper magazine, ships to your door. You get stickers, uh, you get quality content, amazing articles, cool pictures. Just dive into the, the, the industry. Be every part of it. And it's like 69 bucks a year. Like, come on. That's like less than an hour's worth of work, right? Do that also. And uh, by the way, on a side, side note, I am starting my own YouTube channel. So if you want to, please go subscribe there. Uh, anywhere you see me, follow, subscribe. That's literally what I'm uh, striving for. But my YouTube is Jersey underscore nation. So go check that out and uh, some pretty cool videos there. But back to what we were talking about is you have to... Stop new customers from calling somebody else. If you're gonna be number one in your area, you have to focus on um, stopping the, what do they say, stop the buck, the buck stops here, right? Stopping the, if somebody calls you and they go, hey, I'm looking for window cleaning, and you go, oh, great. I'll be out there in three days, we'll, we'll get you. They're gonna call other people. If they're calling other people, then those people are gonna stop the buck, and it's not gonna come back to you. If you are gonna be number one, you have to focus on how to get the customers to stop with you. And it's really, really simple. All you need to do is be fast and book people. You go, well, yeah, no, 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 that's not, I can't. Of course you can. If somebody calls me, I'm gonna do the bid right over the phone, a couple questions, I know exactly what I'm looking at. I'm gonna give them the price, I'm gonna, have my calendar already up too and be like, hey, we can do it on the 12th. It would be between eight and nine in the morning or we have an afternoon appointment on the 13th. Which works better for you? I didn't say yes or no. I didn't say, how does the pros sound? I didn't ask you. I didn't tell you I'm gonna tell. Everything, you called me. It is so much in your head right now that you want this service that you called somebody. I may be the first call. I may be the third call. You called me, I give you the price and the date, let's book it. Now you're going, yeah, it's done. Yes, yep, yep, that works perfect, cool, hang up. If I can get someone 
to book right then and there. This is the dumbest and simplest com- concept, but bear with me. If I can get Mrs. Jones to book with me right then and there, Mrs. Jones does not call anybody else. I know, right? Simple. But think about this. If Mrs. Jones isn't calling everybody else and she's calling me, I just stopped all these other companies from getting another customer because I did. I got the customer. I know I'm the best option for them. I would love to help her. And they're not calling somebody else. Now, think about this and this kind of general thing. And this is not the case. This is an exaggerated event. But think about this. Say that every person for the entire year that wanted window cleaning called just you. Just you. Didn't call anybody else. Now, if that's the case and you stopped everybody right away, then you win. That means nobody else grew that year. In fact, everybody lost because they are going to lose some customers. People die, move, whatever. If you stop all of that, you get it. So being fast is absolutely key. Do not have people wait for estimates. Do not have them like, oh, call you back. Do answer your phone. Don't let them go to voicemail. They'll call somebody else. If Mrs. Jones didn't book through you and she called somebody else and XYZ got them, you didn't. XYZ just stepped up one more, right? It's all this thing. You're all racing to the top. Focus on the customer and getting them to book with you because if they book, it's done. It's done. They're not price shopping because you sold them on the value. They don't need to know dates. You told them that. They know everything. Here's the thing, blah, blah, blah. And just so you know, we have 100% satisfaction guarantee. So there is absolutely no reason you wouldn't want to book with us. We also have a seven-day rain guarantee to protect you from the elements. We're fully insured. We carry a $5 million umbrella. I know a lot of the other companies can't quite say that. We've been doing this for XYZ years. And I'll tell you this, I personally stand behind all of our service. I'd love for you to give us a chance and clean your windows. You won't be sorry. Boom, done. It's yours. It's not somebody else's. You just got the one extra tick. You're going up to the top. In theory, when you think about this, especially in new customers, if you're a new company and you could do that whole nobody else got one customer that year, how much would your company grow? It's exaggerated, I know, but but think about that. That, that's where that whole goal is. You stop it at you, you collect it, that's the win. But be a no-brainer. Understand your value. I always see this, you know, every now and then you see these posts and these people get on these high horses too, kind of on the internet, and they're like, uh, you know, charge more money, you have to... I can't compete against the $99 guy. Let me ask you this. This is for you right now listening. If your service is... $300 and the other guy is $99 and those two things you go I can't compete if you offer the exact same thing same service same value same everything why would anybody pay you why would anybody go the $300 route well that's why I'm having no you're focused on price not value are there people who always buy the you know, Chinese version of whatever because it's cheaper? Yes. There will always be the Harbor Freights in the world. But there's a lot of people who eventually see the value in spending a little bit more money for something else. If I buy a drill from Harbor Freight, I'm not crapping on Harbor Freight. Just, you know what I'm saying. If I buy a drill from Harbor Freight and I buy a, a, a Festool drill or a DeWalt or a Milwaukee or something, that you deem having crazy value, I'm gonna pay more for one. But the best selling drill is still Milwaukee or DeWalt or whatever. They both drill things. Where's the experience? What's the the value? This is in your company. The $99 guy and you are not competition. He's the cheapest. That's all he has to offer. He can't offer everything you offer because at $99, he can't even barely pay a living wage, much less paying insurance. 
So why are you chasing that guy to try to get the lowest price? All you have to do is price can stay the same, increase your value. You have to be a no-brainer. I need you and them. They go, we're $99. What else do you offer? We're $99. And they go, okay, what else do you offer? And you just give them the whole speech I did about 100% satisfaction guarantee, insurance, the experience, the, the, the contacting me. I stand behind my work. We absolutely amazing. We take our shoes off. Here's a bunch of video testimonials. We have 500 five-star reviews. We do our best to be the best. It's a no-brainer. Well, obviously, I'm going to hire the best. I'm not going to hire the guy just because he's cheap. Again, some people may, but very, very few. Don't chase the $99 guy on price. Beat him in value. You know the value is there. Increase your value. Make it a no-brainer that people choose you. Make it a no-brainer. Put all of those things together, and you're starting to head to the number one company in, in, in your area, your on top. But the one piece to this puzzle is you've gone through everything we've talked about. You've gotten a new customer, you've sold them, you've sold them on value, you've stopped them, you've taken them from blah, blah, blah. If you just stop it right there, you're like all these door knocker, weird TikTok door knockers. It's not a thing. Those are solar guys. Those are roofing guys. Well, that's... (laughs) That's funny that he used to be in, of course he was. He used to be a solar salesman. He used to be a roofing guy because those guys, if you sell a roof, you don't buy another roof for 30 years. That means that when I sell you, that's my only goal, to sell one customer, I gotta go find more. That's not what window cleaning is. Hey, we're a luxury company. You don't need us. If you hire a window cleaner, I want you to be my customer and have service every six months for the next foreseeable future. Your lifetime is what I'm really going for. As long as you don't move from that house, and if you do, you still take me with you. I want you to be my customer forever, every six months. That means that every customer coming in is two jobs a year forever. These door knock guys that force people into like, well, yeah, you know what? Okay, I'll tell you what, I'll do it for $112, and that's a great deal, and it's because you're wearing glasses. Be quiet. What are you doing? That's ridiculous. It's absurd. You're making content. I get that. But look at the other side of the actual company. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to push you into doing something. I'm going to tell you my value and I'm going to let you know that you're looking for a window cleaner. This is why you're hiring me. And then I'm going to have you have such an amazing experience that I'm going to dentist close you. And then every six months, you'll be my customer forever. The reason the big companies or the number one company in your area is the number one company is because of the repeat work. It's because they focus on repeat work. They're not one and done like these guys out there. If you've just done all of the first four things we talked about, you got all these customers and you're just going to go out and get more, you're just working every day to try to get a customer in, that is absolutely absurd. That's not what we're doing. We're creating a company. Get them repeat. Dentist clothes, focus on them. Get them in every six month forever. If you haven't heard the dentist clothes and you're new to the podcast, I talk about it a lot. I'll give you a quick thing. When you go to the dentist, before you leave, they give you a little slip and go, hey, by the way, here's your next date when you come back. And you go, okay, great. And you leave. Not once ever have you been like, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing making me come to the dentist every six? The dentist clothes can be done in window cleaning. When everything's said and done, the happiest time that they could possibly have, the best time, is right when they're walking through the house. This is amazing. They'll never be happier than they are right then and there. And you say, awesome. Well, I'm glad that we could uh, uh, help you out. I'm I'm amazed. Now, for your next service, did you want to do three months or did you want to wait the full six months? Uh, You know what? Uh, Let's go ahead and uh, let's do it six months. Okay, great. That gets you into uh, um, uh, March 14th. Be about the same time. Does that work for you? Uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to be doing. Okay, great. Well, we'll call you and let you know that week before, but we'll get you down for the 14th of March, and it'll be between 8 and 9 a.m., and we will see you then. Thank you so much. I'm still going to send them things and emails and stuff like that because I want them to know we do a bunch of other services. I want to stay relative, and I want to stay in the front of their brain, relevant, (laughs) right? But now that one customer, if I do my job, is every six months. That means that on January 1st, 
you wake up January 1st, you have work in the books. Now all the new customers you have is just on top of all the existing customers. This is how you build a number one company. If I just sit there and go, man, I wish I, ah, God, I wish I could double my company. Have every job done twice as much. You just doubled your company with the same amount of things. Like that's how those companies get to be big. They do not have big number one company in the area because they don't focus on that. They're not out there always getting new people. When they get somebody in, they keep them in. That's what you need to look at. It's keeping those people with you. I know for a fact that you're going to be number one in your area. And I know that you know deep down inside you're already number one in your area. But hopefully these tips kind of help you for that. Hopefully. Hopefully it helps you kind of look. And if you got anything out of it, please do let me know. Um, let me be a rep. You know, I shameless plug all the time. That's what I do. My number is 862-312-2026. It's my cell phone. Call me, text me. Let me put your orders in. Literally, costs you nothing extra, and it is a virtual high five. Plus, if you let me know and remind me, you will get a limited edition Cool Kid sticker because you are officially a cool kid now. Also, the magazine. You got to get it. AWCMAG.com. Get the subscription, please. I see the subscriptions come in. I want every window cleaner to have it. It's the longest running window cleaning magazine in history. 1986 it started, by the way. And yeah, trying to grow my YouTube channel personally. So if you're listening to this on any podcast platform, go to YouTube at some point. Do it now if you're on sell and just subscribe just so you have it. But it's Jersey underscore WCR. Uh, Actually, I'm sorry. Jersey underscore Nation. Find me on YouTube. Subscribe. It costs you nothing. Go do all that stuff. Be number one. But more importantly, until next week, go out there and be epic.